Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Soma and I am going to create something which is going to send some warm purple vibes your way. So what are we waiting for? The colors. These are the two palettes that I'm going to mix and match today. Actually, a third palette is also coming into picture and that is also coming from Viseart. Today, I just felt like going to Viseart shadows again because you know i have invested in them and i really want to play with the colors and create something cool something different every time i touch them so let's do that i feel the way we apply the color and the way we create a look uh, can make a difference in our mood it lifts the mood i am a makeup person i just love wearing makeup i just love to play with makeup and it just instantly lifts my mood. So I know it's a long process. When you think about getting ready, you have so many steps in your mind that you would do this and that and that and this. But trust me, if you just get started with one feature, you will end up creating the complete look. That's what it is. And it happens to me most of the days that uh, I just want to yeah do my brows and uh, apply some mascara on and get going actually the lipstick part yeah I can't live without lipstick what can I say starting with from this palette all the colors are bright beautiful totally right up my alley but this one is my most favorite so yeah I'm going to pick one color from each palette and it happens to be the most favorite color of that palette for me. I'm just going to go with the purple. If you guys already have invested in Viseart palettes and if you want to create this color for look, be my guest. It's a very quick and easy look and it will give you a very fresh, vibrant vibe. Whenever I'm touching my brushes and my colors, it just feels amazing. And even if I'm not in a makeup mood, a full-on makeup mood, I just end up doing something which is really different. I can't wear the same color in the same way every single day. I really want to do something creative out of that color every time I wear it. I mean, that's what it is for me. You cannot go overboard with this color because it is a very, very subtle purple. Though it looks very bright, but you can control it. The way you want to use it, you can use it. Just be restful with a brush. Relax. Enjoy the colors. It's a freestyle makeup. Very fresh, very youthful and of course vibrant this is going to be a lot more fun by the way this is my no liner look and whenever it's a no liner look i think it gets very easily done you just you know be playful with the colors and you create something beautiful and i feel that shadows give a very softer vibe and that vibe is very fresh and it is not time taking at all love it love the color and the second color that i want to play with is my oh most of the time i just you know work on my upper lid and then i go for my lower lash line but i think today i'm going to change the strategy a little sometimes that also makes a lot of difference the way you you know every day do things just try to tweak it a little and um it might give you a little bit more excitement and your makeup energy would be a little bit uplifted okay so just going with the same color purple just look at this i mean it's a beautiful purple color dabbing 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 you know it already dabbing is better than dragging okay and especially on our lower lash line 
it is very gentle uh, we have to be very gentle with it a uh, smudge it the way you apply color matters a lot and the impact comes from your brush strokes i do not want very pinpointed things here i just want something you know a wash of color as if it has been a very playful makeup look and it also has to give some editorial bright vibe i mean why not uh by the way i just started using this detail brush here but i'm just going to smudge it yeah love it love 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 see if you already have these palettes in your collection you can totally give it a go because maybe the way you have used this palette is different every person's um, taste and mixing and matching of colors is different and that's the uniqueness that we celebrate when it comes to makeup i mean learn from each other try to share what you know and of course appreciate what the other person or the other makeup artist has to say so just creating a nice base i mean yeah just creating a nice base nothing else a detail work is necessary of course but this is just a layering and foundation so don't worry so i was telling you that in case i just don't want to get up and do you know apply some makeup what happens is i just decide on giving myself just a one or two thing task like okay let's do the brows or yeah let's put on a lipstick beautiful lipstick have you ever tried that i mean you are not at all in the makeup mood but suddenly you feel okay fine i just want a little bit energy boost up so let me grab my favorite color put it on and then one thing leads to another you take that same lipstick color and put it on your cheeks and that gives you a little bit boost up and then you think oh, why not um, mm -hmm. let's go for the brow and then uh, i can handle a little bit mascara and okay let me go for the shimmer strip or a shimmery shade to just give me a little bit boost up and now done you're totally ready and rocking and enjoying the makeup energy yeah i'm a little chirpy today because i just love to play with the editorial brides the colors actually they talk to me i'm not going for any specific pinpointed edgy look i'm just going for a very playful youthful colorful vibrant makeup energy okay guys next step is going to be my shimmer palette for personal use going to use it with my finger just like that i'm going to swipe it on my lid gorgeous now if you are in a hurry and you want a really nice put together glammed up look mind you put together glammed up look go for the gorgeous color definitely and my tip would be go for the same color family it is easy to blend with each other right awesome we don't always have to go for a full-on liner look and you will see how beautiful this looks after i just go with the mascara and these shimmer shades are so beautifully done if you have experienced it i don't have to tell you if you haven't you need to check out and enjoy it these shadows are just like the jewelry box for me i really 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 take care of them play with them a little bit of adjustment here or there who wants some purple energy take it from me 
oh my gosh this looks like a berry blast lovely compact press powder and just going over the edges i just don't want to see any edges let's clear it i'm even wearing my purple blush today which is from the balm cosmetics i love their blushes a lot they're the best kind cabana boy is giving me that pink and purple flush on the cheeks and maggie luminizer for the luminosity so right there now this looks a little bit incomplete and i am going to do a little bit more than that and what is that you will get to know of course just be true to yourself that's the best thing you can do tapping into this viseart golden hour color this is a bronzy kind of shade and this is going to be my highlight just make sure that you place the color and give it a blend sometimes you know shimmers are best wow boom yeah you want to be subtle be subtle you want to go a little bit more than that totally control your brush and the colors and the look would be totally defined by you the mascara and then i'll see if i need a little bit more adjustments than that let's curl the lashes because as i said i'm not going to go for any liner here so i need to define the lash line with the mascara and the best thing is to do this which i'm working on this habit some lash paradise from l'oreal so this is a combo look if you have the colors if you have the palettes just get started and see how it turns out i am pretty pleased purpley pleased now i really want to make a bold statement with this look so i'm going to go for a bolder shade from visor you will see how the whole look comes together i really want to make a statement look and for that i rely on this lipstick a lot i mean a lot a lot a little itty bitty pieces from the mascara do not worry about it we have the q-tip and that will take care of it keep going so there you go some makeup energy on and we are good to go yeah you look your best you feel your best and you do your best well i'm trying now a lot of my friends say that you know what we are not going out anywhere so what's the whole point and i say that's the whole point we are not going out anywhere we need some mood lift up we need some makeup energy and of course we can share our photographs on instagram and facebook i mean isn't it a cheerful way to share it's a positive vibe it's a good vibe it's a makeup energy so let's share that i hope i convince them so let's share the makeup energy together find me on instagram and let me find you on instagram because i post my pictures my new makeup looks on instagram almost every single day i really want you guys to tell me give me some cues that what you like makeup wise what are the colors that you're looking forward to and what are the most natural makeup look for you i mean the definition of natural makeup look is totally different for everyone even if it is a natural look for me i just love some color on because that gives me the energy so what gives you the energy and i'm talking about your makeup energy share that with me and now my l'oreal lash paradise is on i thought i would work with this on my lower lash line but, but i think i'm going to switch to my fenty beauty somehow i just love that for my upper lash line lower lash line both but for the lower lash line even more because of the brush tip look it is very sleek if you just change one simple element of makeup 
I think that the whole look gets refreshed and I want that every single day. Otherwise, my makeup would feel like a chore to me and I do not want my makeup time to feel like a chore to me. It is a luxurious time for me to totally dive in, relish, cherish and enjoy. Nowadays, everyone really tries to be in the moment, enjoy the current moment. I am one of those people too. For me, be in the moment means my makeup moments or when I'm reading a good book or watching something in nature. I'm a huge fan of nature walks. I get my inspirations from nature and I try to replicate it. Now, when the winter is there and most of this time, I see some nice Christmas greens. The rest of the things are a little bit on the gray side. I still like the combination of gray and green. Now, that is something. I've always enjoyed that, seeking my inspiration in nature. And now, with the artistry techniques, it is even more enjoyable because I know how to achieve a certain kind of look and uh, what would be flattering on my skin tone. I can give you and share some tips with all of you there and I feel that I'm part of this makeup beauty community and that gives me a lot of encouragement and joy and that gives me the courage and that gives me the enthu to create different kind of looks that I really want to you know, wear. And I think that um, my viewers would also try that. And decide for yourself whether you like it or not. But first, give it a try and see how it works. I mean, I can totally use the color my way. The amount, the intensity. And I would do that much on the eyes today. If you want, you can go a little bit on board and highlight the brows. But I think I'm going to stick to a very matte highlight. It could be a compact. It could be a very vanilla kind of shade, which I already have in this palette. So I'm just going to go for that one and a little wash of it. I do not want a shimmery shade there because I have already made it shimmery on the lids and onto the inner corners i would wear that much if you want some shimmer on the brow bones definitely go for it decide whether you want to do it or not and there you go my friends i mean i just love this pretty purple look on me and i think you should definitely try it now the lip color that i want to wear is my visal shade number 19 i just do not want uh, to say a lot about it just want to put it on and show you and i know the makeup lovers really love this color it just gives me a chill party vibe every time i wear it i'm just going to smooth out the edges because again i really want something very blurred out and uh, smudged on my lips too if you want to pair it with a nude color or if you want to pair it with something mauvey or chocolatey or brown shade definitely go for it because you know everyone's color preferences are totally different but it is just an idea you could follow it and see for yourself i just love this color on Every time I just get so beautiful vibe out of this color. My trick is to wear it full on and then take a nude lip pencil and just work around it. The purple mixed in fuchsia. I mean, that's a unique shade. And I just can't get enough of it. 
lovely a little bit more why not okay an eye-opening trick if you watched my last video you would already know but that trick is only for people who can enjoy that should not make you watery so i'm going to get a little bit more of this bronzy shade and i'm going to put it on my lower lash line actually on the waterline to give it a very opened up vibe now these are my favorite looks which just boost my energy every time i wear them now that you are with me you can try them too and let me know on the comment section how did you feel about it and what is your go-to look when you want to just put together something but it has to be something glammed up you can say that yeah my put together glammed up look is so and so color it's just a chilled out look a little bit more all eyes on my eyes that kind of striking look okay so the last finishing touch my favorite spray and today i'm going to try some other spray i've got a couple of them but i just love to mix and match them and i think i'm just going to go for a little bit you know bronze shade around my cheek mm -hmm. before i just get started with something else now this palette is always in rotation for me and uh, i just find everything in this palette so i'm just trying to go for the bronze shade uh this would be nice my skin tone and angled cheek brush you know after you apply your colors on your face you get to decide which one you need to uh tone it down which one you need to lift it up tone it up so i just want a little bit of more the brown touch on my cheeks i just feel that it just gives me the right amount of warmth there i am already warm but i just want a little bit of warmth on my cheeks that's it love 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 now today it's purple love awesome guys thank you for being here and thank you for watching it and of course let me know after you try it because that would be an amazing experience to hear from you what worked what didn't and what else do you want to know when it comes to makeup because i'm ready to spread my makeup energy i'm ready to spread my makeup vibes colors and with all that positivity and good vibes love all the makeup lovers love all the artists and i just love to learn from their experiences that's all i would do that much with this look i could create something different with the colors that i have and this is my next setting mist which is giving me the hydration that i need wow love it so that's about it my friend this is soma saying bye to you and i really hope that you try this look because it looks very colorful and vibrant see you soon